Yo, 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 how it goes, Nasuko, bringing you episode 58 of my Modded Oblivion Let's Play. And last time we were exploring this huge-ass cave-like thing, primeval cave. I think it's exactly what it's called. But, um, anyways, we found this nice alien place, and we found a tablet, some gravestone, possibly the Ten Commandments. It looks like it, at least. Stay, where is it? Uh, a bunch of Russian stuff in my inventory. That's nice. Memorials. I think that's it. Yeah, see, look, the Ten Commandments right there. Anyways, there. we're supposed to give it to Norlean. Norlean. Sorry, I kind of emphasized the wrong syllable. But not that that matters. You're back. How did things go? I found a vacant statue. And this. You don't suppose. Let me see that steely. Incredible. You found the lost shrine of Lumini. I totally know what that is. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Remember when we first met? I told you about alien votive tablets I found dedicated to a goddess called Lumini. Those tablets dated back to the first era, and except for them, we had no other references to Lumini. Until now. Many years I've searched for evidence of a Lumini shrine, but I was never even sure it existed. And now, we have conclusive proof. Truly remarkable, excellent work, Disciple. The statue felt cold and vacant. That doesn't surprise me. In fact, that's probably why Lumini is referenced so rarely by the aliens. Other shrines like that of any Daedra are centuries old, and evidence shows people congregating around them throughout history. Lumini would have been no different had her spirit continued inhabiting that statue. My guess is her spirit vanished, turning a once thriving mm. shrine into a mere monument. Imagine how our worshippers felt. With Lumini gone, they lost faith, or turned to Daedra. Man, deep stuff. And sorry about all the noise. I was popping my knuckles. <laughs> Anyways. A moment to translate this. Hurry up! And nothing. Just randomly lip syncing. A memorial steely to Lumini. Placed next to the shrine by the Iliads after Lumini's disappearance. A tombstone, if you will. It says here Lumini, celestial light extinguished by twisted evil. I'm not sure what to make of it. This topic warrants far more study than I'm able to give it here. You've cleared a path to the shrine, right? Good. Then I shall go there to study it in detail. In the meantime, you should speak to Sova. She's been looking for you. Alright. That's my reward. Here, take this key to... Advancement. Your rapid progress continues to amaze me. This latest discovery certainly warrants a promotion. You are hereby granted the title Fellow. Congratulations. Wow, I feel very important being called a fellow now. Until next time. I mean... <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, anyways, from what that phrase sounds like, it almost makes me assume that um, those people from the, like, the Lost Spires, whatever those things are, I don't, I don't know. I feel like maybe they forcefully extinguished Lumini, whatever that goddess's name is. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure, but maybe they have something to do with the disappearing or vacancy of that shrine. Anyways, I need to find Sova. I completely forgot who Sova is. Well, there's Sova's quarters, so let's find out. Oh yeah, duh! I'm stupid. I know who Sova is. Fellow, I've been looking for you. 
I finally deciphered that alien scroll you brought me. Alien scroll? If you'll recall, it said, A pure heart illuminates the entangled eye. After rummaging through years of Solon's research, I was able to make sense of it. There is an alien legend that speaks of a subterranean labyrinth built to protect the mausoleum of a great alien king, Aeon IV. This is the very legend that fueled Solon's excavations. If it is true, the phrase, Entangled Eye, must reference exactly this. Entangled alludes to the labyrinth, while Eye alludes to its geographical location. Aliads attached great importance to the geography of Tamriel. The Eye is an ancient label for the island on which now stands the Imperial City. If the Eye of Tamriel is the Imperial City, then that's where the labyrinth must have once stood. The Imperial City could well have been built on its ruins, which still remain buried deep underneath. Interesting. If the labyrinth exists, it must sit below the current Imperial City. We can't excavate there, unfortunately. The only hope of accessing the labyrinth is through the Imperial City's vast sewer system. But where to start? Try the Imperial Elven Gardens District first. Find a sewage hatch in the Gardens District and search it through thoroughly. The labyrinth entrance may no longer exist, but even a single clue of its remains would be worth the effort. Alright. Until next time. So it looks like I'm rummaging around the Imperial City trying to find a ancient dungeon, labyrinth, whatever it is. Oh, let's see. Sova tells me that the phrase, the entangled eye, refers to a hidden alien labyrinth situated beneath the Imperial City. I must search the Elven Gardens District sewer system for an entrance into this labyrinth. Alright. Let's have it over, head over there now. Calm down, Izumi. Don't get too excited. Those who do not know how to live must make a mirror of dying. George Bernard Shaw. I have no idea who, who half of these people are in these quotes, but they're awesome quotes, by the way. I like them. And of course, they're not from this mod. They're from the... Uh, Dark UI slash Starnified UI, whatever it is. Stuff like that, you know. Dog, yeah, exactly. I I'm gonna shut up now. I'm just saying random stuff. That was half the point, though, if you didn't notice. Alright, where's the Elven Gardens? Right there. Sorry about that. Whenever I play this game, I suddenly have to start yawning. And I love this game to death, but it makes me yawn. I don't know why. <clears throat> it's not like I get bored or anything. I have a lot of fun playing this game, but... Just start opening it and all of a sudden... <clears throat> yawn every five seconds. Is there another mud crab? Yep, there he is. Saw enough of those down over at the primeval cave. So what am I supposed to do? Just search around this entire place? Waterworks. I I'd assume I'd have to stay in uh this cell, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. Well, um, I just might have found it. I mean, 
You know, I could be wrong, but so something's telling me that this is the place. <laughs> Let's just go inside. Lost alien ruin. What is the quest update? I found an alien doorway into what must be the the must be the labyrinth ruin. I thought it's a to the. I'm like what? I should explore it. I can't even speak right now. Ah! Right behind me, Shizuna? Yep, you are. Um. Guess I can't go through the gate, so let's head over here. I'll just die already. There we go. I guess that opened up the gate. Another one? Well, let's go this way then. Hmm, alright. That's odd. There it is. Hmm. Sounds like she's knows fighting an army over there. Yeah, pretty much. It's a lot of people. There we go. Oh, I missed. More? Oh, come on. Uh, let's see. Blaze fire. Is that the... What the hell is this? Oh, that probably came with my other mod. I see. Then that probably means if you play Final Fantasy, then you know exactly what that sword is. That's one thing I like about bow and arrows, I can just knock them down almost every single time. These guys have so much health. Come here. Oh, there you are. I was shooting at the wrong one. I had the feeling I did that. Come here. Oh jeez. Uh Z. There we go. Gotta pick up all my arrows, just give me a minute. Uh is that it? Excuse me, just picking up my arrows. I'm not here. Um, alright. Ow! Stop it! There we go. Again? Well. Uh... Let me repair some stuff. Even though nothing really needs repairing. But 
You're not at 125, so they need to be repaired in my eyes. All right. That noise. We might have placed a uh, great welcome stone inside there. That might be why it's making that noise. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, nowhere. Am I just stuck here forever? Oh. Can I... No, I can't. Alright then. Um, no, I can't go over there. Oh. Alright. That's a derp moment. I'm sure you guys are screaming at me, be like, just go over there! Oh, good job, she's no getting in the way. It's one thing I don't like in this game is the freaking companions AI. So stupid. At least in Skyrim, when it comes to combat and getting in your way, there's a lot better than in this game. But there's other things about Skyrim where the companion's AI is frustrating. Ah, jeez, you know, that's a lot of arrows inside of you. You must not be feeling in tip-top shape right now. Calm down, she's an OG's. Oh, 